Hey Red, Sammy from United People's TV, how we doing? We're here with the MUFC fans reaction, your reaction after Man United's impressive 5-1 win over FC Midtjylland last night. As we do after every single game, we ask you your thoughts on the match and you send us in your responses and we take a look at some of them. So let's get straight to it. First one here from Arsalan at Mask567. Pretty simple one, Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. And it's a good, it's a good point to start with because Memphis Depay's performance was... One of the most electric performances we've seen from a winger at Old Trafford in a long, long time. Yes, it was against FC Midtjylland, but you can only beat the team in front of you. Um, you're looking at Memphis set a record in the Europa League for most dribbles in a game. And he set a record by half-time of most dribbles in a game from a player under Louis van Gaal. In 45 minutes he did that. How he only finished that game with one goal and no assists, unless you're counting the own goal assist, which potentially could count. But... He laid the ball on a plate for his teammates so many times. He beat his defenders no end, left them with twisted blood and broken knees. That was what you ex what we'd all hoped to have seen from Memphis Depay from the start of the season. But as is always the case with foreign imports, they don't always work straight away. Players come from different leagues. They have to adapt. And Memphis has struggled to adapt so far. But wow, that, that really was top, top draw. It doesn't really matter what level of opposition you're playing as such. You know, you still got to have the confidence to run at a player and run at a defender. And Memphis was doing that all night long. That's what we want to see Memphis keep that up against Arsenal. Second one here from Anand Hack. Then I say second name, sorry mate. He said, amidst all the hysteria, it's important to keep in mind the quality of the team we played tonight. As I said, I do agree with that. But I think Man United deserve praise for that. We were 1-0 down, 3-1 down on aggregate. And we came back to win that 5-1 on the night. 5-3 overall. That's a good performance, right? Dean Brown here says, promising, promising. Thumbs up. That was promising. Um, that's eight goals in two games. Yes, against Shrewsbury and Midtjylland. Um, but it's the perfect way to go into an Arsenal game. We have a good chance of getting a hat-trick of wins now. But it's going to be very difficult with how many injuries we've got, we've got against Arsenal. Different kettle of fish, that one. Uh, Adkin D'Souza says, crying because we haven't scored five in three years. But Midtjylland are a pub side. We should be beating them. Now, I think the most, for me, what I enjoyed most about that win last night is the fact that we were 5-1 up in like the 85th, 86th minute, and we still attacked. We, the game was done. The game was finished. We still attacked. We didn't stop attacking, and that got me feeling really nostalgic. That's how United used to play. Didn't matter how many goals we had, we would still go forward and still attack with intent, and we did that. And Midtjylland could not cope, especially when they had 10 men. Uh, I've got one here from uh, Dan Anjay Rascal says we should be keeping horny, horny United. Whatever the players did before the game, whatever the players took, do it before Arsenal. Um, Van Gaal was actually talking to the Dutch press about what he meant by horny. And effectively what he meant is that he wanted his players to be up for it and ready to score goals. They scored five. I think it worked. Call your players horny more often. Uh, Bansa maker Dante. Uh, he said, nothing fantastic, wins against Shrewsbury and Midtjylland don't count for a club of Man United status. Yes, that is true, but there have been too many times this season where we've gone into games, would be it Norwich at home, um, Sunderland away, Midtjylland away, we've got in going, you know what, United should win this quite comfortably, and we don't win it. So for us to do that emphatically at Old Trafford in a pressure game, when we're 1-0 down and 3-1 down in aggregate, it's a good response and a good performance. We're not saying anything more than that. Uh, Michael W here saying a lot more exciting playing the kids. Now the kids deserve some real praise. If you look at Marcus Rashford will, will steal the headlines because it was a brilliant brace from him. 18 year old making his debut in a pressure game at Old Trafford under the floodlights. You've got to be happy with that Rashford. Now he's scored with the under 18s, 19s, under 21s and the first team all within the same calendar year. Doff my hat to you. That's what you want to see from youngsters. But he would st he'll be still in the headlines but I thought Joe Riley played very well at left-back, got a standing ovation from Old Trafford. Guillermo Varela played also very well at right-back. I thought he was ten times more dangerous than Jesse Lingard, which says a lot. Lingard didn't play too well, also got booked for diving. Um, Andreas Pereira came on and he was quite impressive, as he always is. You're looking at... There are heavy, heavy criticisms for Van Gaal for having this small squad, because yes, it's left us weak in a lot of positions for a lot of times this season. When you're seeing players like Cameron Borthwick-Jackson, Marcus Rashford... Guillermo Varela and Joe Riley, who've all come through out of opportunity because of injuries. 
but they've proven themselves. They've showed they've got the quality. We would never have seen these players had we had Nani and the bench, you know, that, that sort of bench that Fergie had. And I think that's, that's got to be a real positive, right? Let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Got one here from Jim at Jim at Southstand. Said, not getting overexcited, didn't do anything we shouldn't have. Beating this team should have been a stroll. Yes, Jim, it should have been, but it wasn't in Denmark. So that's a palpable difference between 2-1 in Denmark to beating them 5-1 at home. Yes, home advantage X, Y, Z, but we haven't really had a home advantage this season, have we? We've had so many, I think we had 12 consecutive nil nils at half-time. We were even losing at half-time in this one. I think, I, I think we were. I can't remember the game, actually, now. Let me know in the comments if I've got that completely wrong. But that was a real response from United, and that's all that matters. Actually, no, we weren't nil-nil at half. We'd nil one down at half-time, were we? one all. And matter missed the penalty to make it 2-1. I remember that now. Anyway, on to the next one from Andrew Bradburn. Said, awake for 24 hours, but it was absolutely worth it. Memphis was something else. I think a lot of fans are going to be going away with a big, big smile on their face because of Memphis. And he should be as well. Marcus Rashford might not be able to sleep, might not have slept last night just from sheer excitement, but Memphis was a person who really, really got everyone on the edge of their seats in Old Trafford. And that's what you want to see from a winger uh, in Man United. Imagine if you've got Martial up front in the sort of form he shows at his peak and Memphis on the left. That's the makings of a serious, serious partnership in the future. That has got me excited. Final one here from Punit Kumar. He said, the horniest, classiest and the most delightful match of the season by a mile by a second, only possible string United team. And I think that's a good point to finish on again. It's because United, if you look at it, we had David De Gea injured, Chris Smalling injured, Wayne Rooney injured. Bastian Schweinsteiger injured, Luke Shaw injured, Antonio Valencia injured, Antonio Martial injured, Ashley Young injured, Antonio Valencia injured, Marcus Rojo just coming back from injury, Adney Amianese just coming back from injury, Phil Jones injured. I mean, need, need I go on? There are so many players. Our injured, injured 11 on paper is far stronger than our actual current 11. And we pulled that sort of performance out. Given the circumstances and the pressure of, on the team, on Boulou Van Gaal, and Anthony Martial going out in the warm-up, it was all set to be a bit of a... You wouldn't have been surprised if it was a disaster again. But it wasn't. We went 1-0 down, and with all the kids in play, we spanked them 5-1. Yes, it's Midgieland, X, Y, Z. I don't give a fuck about that. That's our, a team we have never played before. If you look at our back five going into kickoff, our reserve goalkeeper, a 19-year-old making his full debut at left-back, two central midfielders as two centre-backs. A right back who's only started three games for us. An 18-year-old starting up front in his first game. And we pulled that performance out. You've got to get credit for that. I think credit where it's due. Yes, it was Midgieland, but that was our pub team that started that game. So absolute all credit to United. I think we should be going into that Arsenal game now. A little bit of confidence. Everyone's feeling horny. Fans are feeling horny. Van Hal's probably feeling horny after that. And hopefully all the players are because Sunday's going to be a different game altogether. That's it for the fans' reaction. Uh, drop a like in the comments if, I've, if you want to give your comments across that I haven't mentioned. Sorry if I missed anyone out. Drop a like on the video as always and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new and we will see you soon. Take it easy, Reds. Do, do, do you think that like uh, Memphis has had a, a, a bit of a hard time recently on the basis that, um, you know, the, the media have kind of got on his back, you know, he's driving around.